Premier, some people uh, who are watching today might uh, have the impression that by uh, telling Mr. Fitzgibbon that he could no longer be a minister, that was the motivation or the, the kick in the pants, as we say, in order for him to um, get his his uh, action, his stocks in order, yeah, his shares in order. Uh, do you think that maybe you should have done that earlier uh, instead of letting this go on for such a long time and it had some negative repercussions on the reputation of your government as a government that um, is ethical and doesn't tolerate this kind of thing? Okay. Uh, first, we have to uh, remind uh, uh, and recap a bit what happened in the last three years. Pierre had uh, uh, some investment in 13 companies. He was able to sell 11 uh, of these uh, shares. Two of these shares were in private companies where it wasn't easy to find a buyer. All right. In the last three months, uh, what happened is that the two companies in which he had investment, the management said, oh, we will buy back those shares at a certain price, all right? Maybe, like Pierre said, it's not the best deal he did in his career, but he accepted those conditions, so the shares were bought back, and uh, uh, I still think that there are other ways uh, to uh, uh, settle those potential conflict of interest. And by the way, what we say today is on top of Pierre not owning any more shares of those two companies, if eventually those two companies uh, may make business with the government, it will be done through the Minister of Finance. Uh, I think eventually we will have, and even the commissary is telling us that it's about that, uh, that we update. Uh, this code, uh, uh, because uh, there are ways to make sure you don't have a conflict of interest other than selling your shares, all right? But I'm realistic, I'm pragmatic, I'm convinced that the opposition will not let me, in the rest of the mandate, uh, uh, change this code. So it doesn't mean that it doesn't need to be changed. We may do that in a future mandate, but right now, Pierre accepted to sell his shares, and uh, uh, we hope he's with us with, for five years, because he al also announced today that uh, he uh, would be uh, present for the next campaign uh, next year. Mr. Fitzgibbon, knowing what you know now, do you regret not having sold those um, shares for a lower price earlier on in order to avoid the, the media hype and the scandal that it's created? The answer is no. Uh, and if you allow me to answer the, the question you asked the Premier, I think we have to be careful between facts, perception. Had there been any conflict of interest in my tenure as a Minister of Economy, I would not have come back. <clears throat> there was never insinuation, there was never any cases of conflict. So this is the interpretation of the, of the code. And in my humble opinion, while I was a Minister of Economy, there was never any conflict. However, the code is such that it was required for me to sell. And I decided during the summer, not that I would sell, I decided I wanted to come back in that position because I like what I'm doing, I think I can contribute. I'm motivated by the, the challenge. So I took the action to sell. It was not my best financial transaction, but I did it. And to me, it's behind me, and just I'm going forward now. 